the nicest one out of the batch. And, um, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, anyway, they're eating. <laughs> What's going on you guys? We are on the way to the airport to pick up an Indonesia shipment. Actually, if my memory serves me correctly, I think this is the first shipment of 2019. I think the last two shipments that I that I got were right at the end of 2018 in late December. So anyway, this is the first one of the year. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. There are just so many potential delays that I can encounter when I'm doing this, but hopefully everything goes quickly and smooth. Um, you know, a lot of times the shipments are like a lot of my target species and sometimes not. Unfortunately, this shipment is lacking a whole bunch of my target species, but I was very lucky in the regard that a lot of animals that um, I am interested in were available. So I'm really interested in the shipment. I'm kind of excited to unpack it. I want you guys to see some of those animals as well. Um, I'm just gonna caution you though that we do need to repack a couple of boxes and get those boxes to FedEx before cutoff. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to juggle both tasks of filming and putting animals away and reboxing animals, but we will try our best. Worst case scenario, uh, we will film a little bit of what's going on today and then we will come back and highlight a lot of the really cool animals that we hope to see um, maybe this weekend when things are settled and we have more time and we don't, you know, we're not in a rush to like make all this stuff happen. So that is about it. Stuck in traffic, stop and go, but we will get there shortly and wish us luck for a smooth transaction. All right, so just as I suspected, our unboxing day that we were going through all our animals and repacking and everything, it was very, very time consuming. We were not able to get a camera out and do any actual unboxing videos of the unboxing. But uh, you know, here we are on my day off the following Saturday. I just wanna highlight some of the animals that came um, we obviously shipped out a bunch of the wholesale stuff and the animals that are left behind are for us. So I just wanted to show you guys, got a very, very small Apodora Papuan Olive Python. This is one of the smallest ones actually that I've ever received. And I had some uh, extra frozen thawed chicks and I put one in there last night and you can see that lump right there that this guy or girl rather, ate the chick, so I was super happy about that. They, my experience is that these guys love birds anyway, so I had a feeling that doing a frozen thought chick probably would be a winning ticket, and uh, this girl took it, so that was actually really cool. We're gonna do this video kind of fast. I have a bit of animals to show you guys, so I'll just give you guys a glimpse of what we got. And hopefully, a lot of these little uh, nicks and things usually shed out over time. The skin, you can see the iridescence here in the sun. And um, for some reason, the properties of the skin just shows every little scratch and blemish and bite and whatever it is. But uh, usually after a shed or two, things start to disappear quite well. But I was super happy to see one so small. It's really neat. All right, on to the next one. All right, and I've been mentioning it, we're still waiting on babies. Uh, the babies are still rumored to be hatching or available soon. Uh, I'm not really sure, still waiting on that. So I only got one scrub python in the shipment, but it's a small southern and it is in immaculate condition. It's just super, super pretty. And a very nice demeanor as well, which is always nice. And so we will be doing first meals again, like I said be doing that today oh that iridescence is something else so all right moving on all right and we got some bigger blood pythons these were actually some of the animals that we went through and handpicked when we were on the farm uh, at the end of last year they were supposed to come on the last shipment uh, the very first shipment just after our arrival here but they did not uh, for some reason, but they made it on this shipment. So that's cool. They are here now um, Just some pretty animals that we That we came across that were lighter in color or contrasty or whatever and so These are very very 
well started guys they've been on the farm for quite some time and yeah so we grabbed some of these guys so we have about half a dozen of them all the attitudes are completely different this one so far is kind of okay but some of them are quite testy so I just kind of randomly grab one that I thought was nice looking for the video but they're all a bit different all right and then of course we haven't sexed anything yet we're gonna be doing first meals today so I don't want to get get too crazy with them I want them to settle and eat first but um, hopefully we have a little bit of a, a mixed mixed sexes here we'll find out that in a few days all right, next. All right, and we got some black bloods as well. Uh, I think we just got three of these only. Um, these were not animals that we handpicked, but they were just that we had three on the permit, so I ordered three. Thought they were going to be babies, but they're actually some bigger ones. And uh, and I like what I see, so I'm actually happy with uh, the supplier's decision to send three bigger ones. So. And then we'll be doing meals again later on today. Get them fattened up. And um, then we'll be sexing them in about a week, just like the others. All right. All right we've got a very nice sulfur phase Pataeus mucosa. And this one is a male. And usually it's no problem. They, um, they'll eat rodents straight away. We'll do live rat pups, and it's usually not a big deal. But a very, very nice specimen, super clean. Okay. All right, and this is a Pataeus mucosa. One, I've never seen one like this before. This is like a patternless animal. It has a couple of scars on it. I think after it has its first shed, it's gonna be super clean looking. But that is a very, very different, very unique looking Pataeus mucosa. I've never seen one like this before, at least not in any of my shipments. It's basically just patternless, which is cool. Now, even the sulfur mucosa, there's, even, there's always remnants of banding on those guys. But um, that's normal to me. But this animal is patternless. That is really, really interesting. Very, very unique. And it looks to be another boy. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, let me put this one away. This one's a little bit more rambunctious than the other one. All right, buddy, you're good. We'll get some food to you later on today. This is the leucistic. This is a female, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, been feeding them crickets. They've only been here a few days, but the crickets are disappearing and they're nice and fat. So that's always a good thing. I'm not going to show all the morph tokes because I just don't like going in there and risk losing tails, breaking off tails and all that. So I don't like to go in there and mess with them that much. But I am going to show you guys this one. The other ones are just a mix of different color morphs. Um, there's some orange spot ones, some gray, some, some black, some blue, that sort of thing. But the leucistic is probably the nicest one out of the batch. and. Um, Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, anyway, they're eating. <laughs> That's proof. <laughs> but anyway, so we did get the Morph Tokes finally in and uh, really happy with what I see. So that's also very cool, makes me happy. And we did get a whole bunch of baby elephant trunk snakes. Have them here, they're aquatic, of course. So we need to also go today, besides getting our rodents, we need to go get some fish. And we'll be getting some, uh, I need to get some more plastic plants and some things, some more cover for these guys so they feel more secure. I feel like the, a bear, a bear box like this is not optimal. So we will make sure we address that and get that taken care of today. But uh, in the water, they look great. And then outside of the water, they just kind of turn into a, a wet noodle. And then back in the water, you can definitely tell when you put them back in the water, like they are an aquatic snake for sure. And uh, that's where they're at home. So got a bunch of those. And we got one big one. I'll show you guys the big one next. All right, and we got one big female, uh, same one that we saw on the farm. 
and if you guys watch the videos of the Asian market and that sort of thing, we are headed there today because we need to get a couple big live feeder fish for this guy, or this girl rather, so we will be uh, deploying our tactics at the uh, Asian market, get a little bit more of uh, specialty feeders. So I don't want this one out of the water for too long, it's very uncomfortable uh, for the animal I'm sure. Just wanted to show you guys real quick one nice big elephant trunk and this is probably like half halfway to adult size they get very 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 big so all right that's it gonna get it back all right we got just a small handful of brand new fresh baby hatchling erie and jaya carpet pythons pop one carpets these are pre-shed they have not had their first shed yet so we have to wait for that before we can offer meals. I do have some still from the, the previous shipment. All of them have fed. There are no non-feeders or stubborn feeders out of the batch. They're all aggressively feeding. And uh, I anticipate that these will be no different than, than the previous batch. So these are fresh animals, obviously, probably only maybe like a week old or so. So can't do anything with feeding on these guys until they have their first shed, but not really worried about it. They're usually pretty easy going animals. All right, and I think that's about it, you guys. Um, there were many more animals in the shipment. They've already been sent out. And uh, like I said, when I get the animals in, my first priority is to get them set up, get them settled in, get them feeding. And then I'll mess with sexing later on and you know we'll determine the sexes and then kind of go through and, and see what's established, what's feeding, how everything's doing and then we'll go ahead and start offering animals from there. So today is Saturday, it's my day off of course, but I have to go pick up rodents, I have to go get fish, I have to go get crickets and uh, you know just like run all those errands. So it's going to be a very very busy day, but as crazy as it sounds, I've actually been really looking forward to this day, not because I didn't have to go to work, but because I love doing the first meal. It just makes me feel so good when I can start offering food to these new arrivals and get them um, get them feeding and so I, I myself can figure out who's doing what, what needs to be addressed and that sort of thing. But um, all the animals came in looking really, really good. It was very, very cold on that day here in LA, um, one of the colder days that we've had. But um, you know what, I'll take cold over heat any day because uh, extreme heat on the other extreme is just um, it's not good for the animals that that has much more harm to animals than the cold so cold-blooded animals tend to be okay when they uh, when they're cold for short periods of time it's just it's better I would always opt for that as opposed to heat so all right you guys that's about it um, I have a couple more videos I'm gonna be dropping in the next couple weeks so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of you guys actually look forward to the unboxing videos. So wasn't able to actually do the unboxing, but at least you guys got to see the creatures. So most of them anyway. I always keep some secrets. So that's just the way it is. But anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.